Today we're going to be building a computer. So we've bought all the components already. So we've got a case which is a, a Cooler Master uh, 222HAF which stands for high airflow. And uh, we're going to build all the components up and put them all in this case. And when it's finished it should be a, a pretty powerful computer because we have got quite a good processor and a, a fair bit of memory. So before we start, I'm just going to show you what components we've actually got to start off with. This is the case, it's a, a Cooler Master HAF222 uh, and it's quite a decent case really and uh, everything should fit in there nicely. We've got everything you need here to build a computer. That's the uh, graphics card which is a, an ATI Radeon, 1 gigabyte, and then we've got a suitable motherboard that's suitable for the, the processor that we're using. Then we've got two one terabyte hard drives that we're going to configure in a RAID 0 configuration or Stripe configuration. And then we've got a 700 watt power supply. And then we've got a, a DVD burner. And then we've got some memory. The operating system. And the processor and cooling fan. Everything's in this box that we need. So now we've got everything together and I've opened everything and checked it's all there we're now going to start to build a computer. Although I'm not going to put this on just yet you should really put one of these on when you're working with electrical components that are delicate like a, a motherboard or anything. It's an anti-static wristband. So that bit there just fits on your wrist and then that part there plugs into an electrical socket. As you can see the live and neutral are plastic but You've just got the actual earth pin there, so you are actually earthed. So you, there's less chance of any static damaging any of the components that you're going to be using. So later on I will be using this, it's a good idea to use one. We're going to start off by setting the case up ready to accept the motherboard. So in order to do that we're going to remove the two side panels which are held on by four screws. There's two at each side. When you've removed the screws, you can just pull the side panel off by pulling it backwards. And we won't be needing that for a bit now, so we can put that somewhere safe. Same on that side. 